a new lead roof for Sandringham? That'll cost a royal mint, your majesty. The queen plans to spend £500,000 of her own money on repairs, after the taxpayer funded £2.4 million work on Harry and Meghan's Frogmore Cottage. The queen is set to spend £500,000 of her own money to repair the lead roof of her Sandringham home which hasn't been touched since it was built in 1870. The entire north end of Her Majesty's Norfolk retreat has been covered in scaffolding while repairs are carried out. But unlike the taxpayer-funded £2.4 million work on Frogmore Cottage, the Windsor home of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, the replacement of the lead roof will be paid for by the Queen. The project will see a single new section craned into place later this summer. Tom Skinner, of Pimlico Builders, a firm that has carried out similar work but is not involved in the Sandringham refurbishment, said creating the roof off-site and then installing it in one piece would reduce costs and improve quality. There is a lot of welding involved with lead roofs so there are fire hazards, he said. Making the section in a controlled environment allows better more aesthetically pleasing joins because the tiles are not slipping around. Visitors to Sandringham House, which opens to tourists between April and October, are met by a notice apologizing for any disruption. Works are underway on the north end of Sandringham House to repair a large area of ledge roofing which has remained untouched since 1870 when the house was built, it reads. It is essential we carry out these works at this time of year when the weather is fair. The estate was bought by the future Edward VII as a country retreat for him and his then fiance, Princess Alexandra of Denmark, and is traditionally where the royal family spend the Christmas period. Buckingham Palace said, as this relates to work on the Queen's private estate, it is not something which we would comment on. The Sandringham repairs come just months after Harry and Meghan went under fire for the pound 2.4 million taxpayer funded renovations of Frogmore Cottage. Harry and Meghan were living together at Nottingham Cottage in the grounds of Kensington Palace after their engagement in November 2017. They were offered the palace's grander apartment 1, which boasts 21 rooms and adjoins William and Kate's apartment 1A, but chose to move 20 miles away to Frogmore Cottage instead. Royal expert Robert Jobson, who wrote a best-selling biography on Prince Charles last year, told Good Morning Britain. It's costing far too much money, pound 2.4 million. They, Harry and Meghan, should have seen this coming, they could have avoided it by moving in next door to William and Kate, adding, the royal family does pay for itself overall but the way this has been handled is not very good. The couple moved out of Kensington Palace this spring amid reports of a rift with Prince William and his wife Kate. This money comes from the sovereign grant, valued at £82.2 million this year and comprised of profits from the Queen's property portfolio, the Crown Estate, which are paid to the government. 25% of these profits are paid to the monarchy to fund the upkeep of its property, travel, security and staff. While the sovereign grant isn't taxpayer money, it is considered to be public funds, belonging to the state. The renovations were said to be spent on new water mains, a nursery for Archie, a designer kitchen and high security. While the Mail on Sunday revealed that the couple spent £5,000 on a freestanding copper bath for their bedroom. Plans are being discussed for a tennis or badminton court, which could cost up to £30,000, while £20,000 of fast-growing greenery has been planted for added privacy, the Mail revealed in June. One of the biggest and most controversial elements of the couple's move is the security bill, which comes on top of the construction bill and was reported this week to be a whopping £750,000. Critics have called the spending outrageous, but friends of Harry and Meghan, who reportedly employed the interior designer used on celebrity hangout Soho Farmhouse in Oxfordshire, insisted today, it really isn't as grand as some people might think. The pound 2.4 million substantial overhaul of Frogmore Cottage, a gift to the couple from the Queen, was approved by Her Majesty but it is still not complete with the costs set to rise by up to £600,000 because of landscaping and more decorating. Even fans of the royals were scathing about the cost online, with one tweeting, the taxpayer should not be paying for Harry and Meghan's home refurbishments. They are taking advantage of us. Graham Smith 
from the Republic campaign group who want the monarchy abolished, said. If even one school or hospital is facing cuts we cannot justify spending a penny on the royals. Yet with all public services under intense financial pressure we throw £2.4 million at a new house for Harry. Former Transport Secretary Lord Adonis criticized the rise in royal spending, following the publication of the monarchy's financial accounts. The Labour peer said, it is disappointing to see royal spending rise so sharply when school budgets are being cut and austerity remains the norm for most public services. I hugely admire the Queen, but the royal family should lead by example and they are not doing so in the case of their own state-funded spending. Dot, 